Awu. Awu. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Awu. Awu. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fear Friday. It's Fright Day, everyone. It's the spookiest day of the week. It's here. At last, it is returned. Welcome. Welcome to Fright Day. Goodness. <laughs> too scary. It's too scary, everyone. This day. It's a beautiful day today. A beautiful, spooky, terrible day. <laughs> I got a, a ginger beer. I'm all set, ready to to see all the spooks that are gonna happen and such. <laughs> Playing Eternal Darkness on the GameCube, continuing. Uh, last last uh, last stream, someone told me I had exactly one chapter left, but that was that was wrong. I got a couple of chapters left. I got two chapters left, so we're definitely not gonna finish the game today. <laughs> Despite my greatest hopes and dreams, we are not going to finish this dang game, which is too bad. So we'll finish it tomorrow, not tomorrow, the next Friday or the Friday after that. One of these Fridays, it'll be done finally. <laughs> finally, we'll be done with this eternal darkness. How's everyone doing today? The uh, YouTube notification system's a, a little donked today, so... So, uh, ch people are going to be trickling in over the next half hour or so as they finally get, <laughs> finally get a notification. So, we're, we're just going to... I'm just going to sit here for, <laughs> for a full one half an hour just, just to wait for the maximum number of people <laughs> before starting. Just going to... Just going to sit here. A complete silence. <laughs> just, just waiting. YouTube itself still hasn't alerted me that the stream started. I only just found out because Luca bot on Discord pinged me. Yeah, yeah, I can. Like, I see, I see it happen in waves. Uh, like, generally, when I push the start st uh, stream button, uh, about fifteen seconds in, usually people start chatting. Uh, Today it took it took a little bit longer. There was like one person who was <laughs> here right away, and then the other people started coming in like a minute and a half after it, after it started. So I was like, "All right, this is one of those days. <laughs> this is this is this is one of, one of those YouTube notification days." Oh God, ginger beer really hits this spot, you know. Luckily though, we stream we stream pretty consistently time wise, so people people know. People know that the stream is is getting going just cause of uh cause of the time, you know. Alright, let me let me check my notepad. You can see what I wrote last time in terms of what we're supposed to be doing here. Eternal darkness. Eternal darkness. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Eternal darkness. Here it is in my notes. My notes for eternal darkness. I got something that isn't the heart of Mantarok. Also a crankshaft. Also a gross old note. Cool. <laughs> cool. Perfect. Got it. Jason, do you ever feel like YouTube specifically hates on your notifications? Like yours seems to be dunked up more than anyone else's. Uh, it's algorithm based, so this is this is actually true, in that YouTube's algorithm makes a choice whether to send a, <laughs> send a notification out. It isn't just automatically like there's like multiple steps to make sure that you get notifications uh, for someone you're subscribed to. Uh, you can, just subscribing doesn't do it. There's also the bell, and then I'm pretty sure there's a third step that you have to do af after the bell. But even then, the notifications have to actually be working. Sometimes they're real slow. Uh, I think in this instance, it's just 
them being real slow. I don't think it's the algorithm. The algorithm, uh, the algorithm is what decides the num like the number of people to send priority notifications to. It's all it's all weird. <laughs> YouTube's not not super into uh, into channels that don't put out videos like every day. So as far as as far as game streams though, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the YouTube notifications aren't punishing me for these game streams. If anything, the fact that I do these these daily streams is probably a, a net plus for my for my notification rankings. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this dang game. I've already gotten to this part. I already loaded the game because I needed to do some some testing to make sure it wasn't too dark. Because this game gets really dark, so. I have a special way of connecting this game in particular, just to make it slightly less dark. So I, gu I guess we're gonna, we're just gonna start with uh, reading this cool note. Letter from Ed Edward? Edward. Letter from Edward. Dear Alexandra. Oh my god. If you were reading this, it's Alex, being read to us. <laughs> then I am surely dead. <sighs> Knowing that the police will contact my own How relative, extravagant. I made sure to leave this message for you. Thank you. As I write this letter, yes. Pius Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for yes. what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus's plans, mm, but not stopped them. The completely. plans. He will still try to bring his ancient into this world. Uh, no. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. You must okay. gather the artifacts <laughs> and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Uh, sure, I guess. Of the artifacts, there are four. But one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. Oh, no. Oh, my God, the heart of Mantarok. <laughs> the black heart of Mantarok. There it is, the heart of Mantarok. It's the actually listed here. Chaturga. <laughs> it's a real thing. The sigil of Zenototh. <laughs> the veil of Uliath. Neat. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius is, who has had two not. millennium to prepare I don't know what I'm his doing. gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. Okay, gotta get those artifacts. It all rests with you, my dear. Oh, good. I wish you well in this desperate act. Thanks. I wish I had more guidance for you, but I am at my wit's end. Oh, uh, no. And I feel I am running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Loving? Didn't you show up a bunch of times? Tell me how much you hate me. <laughs> or is that, is that... Is that like ghost tricks by some other ghost? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, well... Oh, no, no, don't... No. Stop. Stop. Zoom out. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got we got the next chapter page, so I guess we'll go there. I guess we'll go to this next chapter. Here we go, everyone. We're loading it up. You ready? Strap in. Here it comes. Here comes ashes to ashes. Second to last chapter in this game. Boy, boy, it's it's coming up. Here it comes. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses. Oh my god, the ancients are responsible Waiting. for everything. They pray on misfortune the ancients. and exploit it toward <laughs> their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, oh, yeah. the ancient's grip tightens. No, the grip. Knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. Gosh. Does but a few people make dastardly the ancients. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an a end to the insanity huh? at the end of the war. I, I guess we're playing firefighter him. now. Cool. The insanity was just beginning. No. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, there's a lot of fire. It's hotter than hell here. 
I'm getting a little nervous about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. Almost like some sort of ancient is controlling us. <laughs> Almost like there's some sort of ancient making it worse. cloth and the water spray are there so you're probably right we've got 500 pounds of 80 percent nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place oh wait what good to go wait 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 i didn't know that's how you fight fires i don't understand what's <laughs> i guess i don't understand <laughs> yeah we gotta kill the fire we gotta blow it up <laughs> gotta blow up that dang fire <laughs> oh no the fire blew us up <laughs> oh no. Who would have thought? Well, that didn't go great. We tried to blow up the fire, but the fire was too strong and tricky. Now I guess there's a big pit. Oh hey, it's that body tower. Oh cool. I guess the fire the the fire people are here now. Here near near this cool body tower. What the hell happened? Well They're all dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, they're all McCormick. McCormick. Patterson. Oh Patterson, my favorite. Patterson and McCormick. McCormick and his wonderful spices. Patterson from... Like been alive. He's, he's the guy from the uh, Twilight movies, right? Patterson. Oh my god! <laughs> hey! Oh, it's the heart of Mantarok. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Envy. Finally, we got that heart of Mantarok. Gathering of light. What are you talking about? Wait a minute, what? You want me to take what? this <laughs> to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Yeah, it doesn't make a whole take lot of it. sense. Save us. Oh. Ah. Uh, cool. Sensing the danger, Mike protects his hands from the insidious magic by using his coat to carefully pick the artifact from the debris-strewn floor. Michael has acquired the- Oh no, this is not the heart of Montarok. Dang. <laughs> I keep thinking everything's the heart of Montarok. But none of them are the heart of Montarok. None of them. <laughs> I'm so sad about none of these things being the heart of Montarok. Well, I've acquired the essence of Uliath. So... It's not quite as good. Ernesto, thank you for the 50 ARS. Hey, YouTube never notified me of the stream. I don't know what, why that happened. Did I miss anything important? Yeah, YouTube didn't notify a lot of people. Today's one of those no notifications days. <laughs> it happens. It happens occasionally, and it sucks. I wish, I wish they would get their game together, you know? It seems like letting people know there's a stream going on is an important part of the streaming service, but it doesn't work about half of the time. <laughs> so, as far as anything important, uh, I, I, I'm a firefighter and I fell down a hole and now I have the essence of Uliath, so I guess that's pretty important. Oh, I also have a ruby e effigy. Ernesto, look at this. <laughs> look at this. I got notified for month of sleeps though. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's because I put out a month of and did a stream and then did another stream and they were like, too much. No more notifications for you. Get out of here. Yo, it's me. I'm here and I brought my hot girlfriend time to get spooky. It's going to be pretty spooky today, Maggie. I got to tell you. For instance, there's a skeleton already. <laughs> In case you missed it, Maggie, we fell and and your, your GF, we fell down a hole. I'm a firefighter. I was fighting a fire with uh, explosives. I was trying to blow up the fire. <laughs> Canonically, this character was trying to blow up a fire, and uh, 
fell down a hole instead and ended up with an ancient artifact. So that's what's going on. Is he just punching them? Yeah, I don't think I have. Oh, I have an axe. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you for, for noticing that. Axe, much better for fighting meat skeletons. Man, I'm losing all my my sanity. And he says skeleton more like skeleton. I would agree with that, but honestly, fighting skeletons has lost their fun factor <laughs> months ago, really. Oh, you're not gonna say anything about this? It's just... These are firefighters, by the way. These are the firefighters on the ground here. They also fell into this terrible pit, but they did not survive. R.I.P. True, true heroes. Who's this? <laughs> a desiccated, desiccated? Yeah, de a desiccated corpse lies sprawled on the temple floor, dressed in desert combat fatigues. A rifle, pistol, and a variety of ammunition lie about him. Soldier appears to have gone down fighting. Should I collect the weapons? Yeah, I got an assault rifle to fight the fire. <laughs> yeah, look at all this stuff. The only way to fight fires is with ammunition. It's with uh, guns and explosives. <laughs> Melee weapons, maybe. I know. I know. Get off me. You son of a gun. I gotta tell you, this game is so dark. <laughs> like, what you're looking at right now is probably, probably really dark looking. But I gotta tell you, it's so much less dark than it was before I reworked how I captured this. How I transferred it to this TV. <laughs> I can't begin to tell you how much work it took to get this so bright and vibrant. <laughs> Why am I even fighting these things? I don't need to, probably. I can just run away. I don't really care. Ah, it's one of these bad things. Do I have to fight the bad? I guess not. I guess I don't have to fight the bad. I remember this as a kid, the darkness was a pain. Yeah. I mean, the game is called Eternal Darkness, so I understand why they did it. Why they made it so dang dark. <laughs> the guns are way better in this level. I really like the axe, though. Although there are... There are some creeps up ahead that I definitely want to shoot. Oh my god. Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. God, this sucks. <laughs> uh, I tried the assault rifle, maybe. Oh my god, there's <laughs> so many things here! God! I don't know. I can't even see right. Oh man, that thing's just dead. Alright. Oh, it's back now! What is God? <laughs> is that being summoned? What's happening? God dang. <laughs> oh my god, get out of the way. 
Oh, you sent him a gun. God. <laughs> Let, me th Let me through. <sighs> Alright, well. I guess I guess I'll just leave. Bye. <laughs> Bye, sorry. Hey, hey, get out of here. Man, there's so many places to go. They're all filled with monsters though. This is some pretty cool pranks. The <laughs> game's playing on me. Some pretty good planks and pranks right there. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh god. No. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? An old battered staff lies upon the dais. Now oh, I found an old battered staff. Cool. I don't know how that'll help me. Is that something I could whack people with? A long staff made from hardwood, its finish once clean and resplendent, is now dented and cracked. One end of the staff is merely bare wood, indicating that something was once attached to the end. Alright, I guess I gotta do some cool mixing and stuff. Gotta, gotta find something to put on that big old staff. Next time I see one of those, like, little creatures that sends me to the, the Phantom Zone, I should probably just let it recharge my sanity. I don't know how long it's going to be before I get the, uh, the Book of Eternal Darkness. It might be a while. Hello? Oh my god, wow. Looks like a scale replica in the area. The model is made from clay and seems brittle. Some of the buildings appear to have been coated with a reflective glaze. Almost as if I need to reflect something off of it, probably. <laughs> a depression lies in the floor in front of the model. Perhaps something may be placed there. Perhaps. Uh, I guess I can't use the... <laughs> <laughs> Can't just put the staff there. Okay, well, I guess I gotta have, have to go back and fight all the bats again. Nothing, nothing else to it. Hey, how are you still here? I thought I killed everyone here. <laughs> I thought I killed everyone in this dang hallway. Is this where the bats are? No, this is not where the bats are. Oh, this is where the bats are. <laughs> oh, bat city in here. Oh, we're, oh, I went to the Phantom Zone. Oh, cool. All right, let me get some of this good health juice. Get out of here, son of a gun. Timmy, thank you for the five dollars. Finished part of a big project at work while watching you draw ghost butts to the tunes of smooth jazz. Helped me, helped me chill. Loved the square ghost butt. Well, thank you, Timmy. Glad you got the big project finished. I did really like that square butt. It was pretty. <laughs> it's pretty good. Pretty 
pretty good, <laughs> pretty good ghost, but. Head. I really like chopping heads off in this game. I think I like how quickly it happens. I think I like how <laughs> you just kind of swing, swing once and the head's just gone. Oh my god. I don't really know how I'm supposed to do this section here. Especially with like two of these bats. I can't even like... I can't even figure out what to do about just one of these bats. Oh no, I'm back in the Phantom Zone. <laughs> oh great. Well, time to buff up my Saturday again. Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying. Hey, see ya. No, 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 stop, <laughs> stop, get out of here. Oh God. How did I lose so much sanity already? <laughs> that's too, that's so much. God. Don't you have to not cheat to kill them? Yeah, I mean, that's why I lost health, because I switched it off when I hit them. It's just hard, because they'll kill me so quick. Oh, I'm back here. All right. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but sure. Sure, I'm just immediately back here. Great. There goes, there goes my sanity again. Figure out what is what is the moment that I'm supposed to like not be invincible here? <laughs> it seems like there's really no great moment. I'll take out my gun, I guess. I've used so many bullets already though. Now oh, you got me. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Michael cannot cast spells. Yeah, I know that. I'm not trying I'm not trying to cast a spell. God. Get out of my way. Oh god. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. God. Come on. Alright, well, this is not working out. Bye. <laughs> Bye, I'll see you later. I'll, I'll come back. Oh my god. Oh, there goes my head. Great. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool Whether game. The mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous oh, yeah. Or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing the end of Very neat. To die. To sleep. No more. To sleep. We end. Uh huh. How long is this gonna go on? That long. Alright. <laughs> Great, thanks. Why does his head fall off? It's a prank. This game has a lot of pranks, you know? You know about pranks, right? 
This game's all about the pranks. Dang it, come on. Bats. I can't, cannot believe like how hard it is just to kill one bat. Alright. Come on, bat. wings are open. Yeah, you can hurt- you can hit their back. Uh, at least I could with, like, melee weapons. But, yeah, that's- that's the primary issue. Alright, well, I killed one. And apparently I can't kill it when invincible, because I have invincibility on right now. So, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good. It's ridiculous, like, how hard this game is, even when cheating. <laughs> when I'm just blatantly cheating, it's like the game is still super difficult. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna be all slow now until until we heal up. Someone told me the gun was, like, really effective here, and so far it's not been... <laughs> so far... So far, gun, definitely not... <coughs> not super effective. Lots of bullets used. Very few of them seem to have done anything. The axe is doing okay, though. I want to be sent to the Phantom Zone. Jason, get the amulet in the room with all the bad guys. Can I get it without killing all the bats? Because I walked around the room trying to grab stuff, but wasn't able to. Oh, here, here it is. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, situated on a waist-high plinth is a gold amulet. Ah, oh, cool. I got it. Great. Set of a gun. I really want to be sent to the Phantom Zone, though. Come on, send me. Yes, yes, heal me, heal my my firefighter pod, please. I need, I need fire, fire, he healing. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, perfect. Alright. Pretty sure I can mix this with this now, right? Yeah, I got the staff. Oh my god, perfect. <laughs> Great. Good. I did it. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot I forgot I was in this very spooky room. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's try to use that dang amulet now. Sounds in this game. 
times. <laughs> what a great, a great sounds going on. Whoa, whoa. I guess I guess this is right. Is this is this right? There's something here. Thank you for the two dollars. Can you still do the voice of Professor Toothy? Uh, probably. I can. Pr I can probably still do it. It's probably possible. You know, anything's possible in this in this magical world we live in. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that's just all I'm supposed to. Do. Oh my God. Oh no. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Ha 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 ha. I've I've solved the riddle. Whoa dang. Oh my god, incredible. <laughs> All of that to knock a tile off. <laughs> Alright. Whoever made, whoever made this, this temple is just a bunch of dorks. Alright, well, cool. We're gonna get this spooky book now. Here it comes, everyone. It's my favorite part in the game. Every time that a character goes up, <laughs> walks across the floor. Covered in faces that are screaming to the skin hand, and finds this flesh book and is like, "All right, well, I'm gonna pick this up." <laughs> I'm absolutely. This is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick this up. Not a single character decides not to pick it up. <laughs> not not one person decides. Hey, maybe I won't. Maybe no. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Michael claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness? Yes. Michael has acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, well, we got it. Recover some sanity here using some magic. Yeah. Now I'm gonna enchant my my axe. What are we fighting? We're fighting green, so red probably. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. We got magic now, so that's good. It's always helpful when we got magic. Probably save the game, so we don't have to go back to not being magic if the game crashes. I think that's probably it for this room. Can't imagine needing anything else here. Oh my God. Yeah, I forgot. I got. I got my shield spell, yeah. That's <laughs> my favorite spell, I get my little orbs. <laughs> yes, orbs. Alright, well this firefighter is a wizard now. <laughs> it's kind of unrealistic how this, how every character goes from like, whoever they are, to wizards with a demon book fighting skeletons and like they don't really seem that bothered by the switch 
<laughs> they don't seem... They don't seem that concerned that their life has changed so much in the past ten minutes. <laughs> He's like, alright. Well, this is this is me now. I'm I'm a wizard with a skin book. I guess I can climb up here. <laughs> got got a cool lion's roar with my axe. Whoa, what's this way? Oh, it's a door. Oh yeah, it's back here. Yeah, I guess there's nothing here. As far as I can tell. I don't even know, what am I supposed to be doing? Do I have... Do I have a quest? <laughs> I don't know if I have a... I guess I don't have a quest. Alright. Oh wait, I have some items. I have a ruby effigy and a sapphire effigy. There's probably somewhere I can put those. There's always somewhere to put effigies. <laughs> always a place for effigies. isn't enchanted anymore. I wish it would enchant for longer, because I... I hate having to re-enchant my, my magic axe, you know? Oh, oh, <laughs> no! Oh, God, all right. Yeah, go, go back down. Spell list. Enchant the axe. back to map room and go down the open tile. Did I not go down that tile? I thought I did. I thought I went down. No, I guess I didn't. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I opened a secret passage and didn't go down the secret passage, right? Oh yeah, I guess it's because when I tried going down it, I got the Tome of Eternal Darkness, so I, was just, I just thought that that was what was down here. That's what confused me. All of that tome of eternal darkness stuff. Yup. <laughs> Just missed the Phantom Zone. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Another one got me! Oh, sneaky. Very, very sneaky. I know, you're very, very spooky. Found out I'm getting out of the hospital Monday morning. I'm so glad. Oh my god, congratulations. Hooray. Sorry I had to go back at all to begin with, but I'm glad you're getting out. Monday. Only one more weekend of hospital despair. Hey, buddy. I have a magic axe. I use it to fight fires and demons. Just those two things. If you see me coming at you swinging with my axe, do not worry unless you're a demon or a fire. <laughs> God. Please stop hitting me. Please. Please. Friend, please. <laughs> please. I honestly don't understand how people get through this game not using cheat codes. People are, people are real good at video games to get through this one. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be some sort of game wizard to get past this, this scoundrelly game.
guy's got some big arms. Got some big firefighter arms. You can tell he's real good at swinging his axe. Just those dang big arms. <laughs> Just huge. Is that me? I guess that was me. Cool. Ah! Abs up! Ah! Ah, my axe isn't super powered anymore. Dang. I really should enchant my axe. It's so much quicker. Fighting Debo's. Spell list. Enchant item. Enchant the fire axe. Almost got me. I gotta be honest, I don't think this is a great game. <laughs> I, uh, I've gone, I've gone up and down with it over the course of playing it, and at this point, I think... I think it's an interesting game for its time. But, gosh, I just don't have a whole lot of fun playing it. <laughs> I don't have, like, a ton of fun. I feel like they could have cut cut this game like down in half. They could have quartered it really. Cause like to get the true ending you have to play through this whole thing four times. Ah uh, and like that would be cool if this game was a fourth as long. Hey, I'm not even gonna bother fighting the it's such a pain such a pain. <laughs> such a pain in the butt. Dang. Oh no. Oh my god, so many phantom zones. What do I do? Take out my gun. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh dang, they got me. Alright, might as well. No, I might as well. I can use this spell to get my sanity back. I don't need to. this place. Four times, yeah. What is this room? <laughs> What's in this room? Why am I here? What's in here? Oh, there's doors. Okay. There's one, one door I could get through. Also, like, I, I guess I, yeah, I've been here before in a different time. I understand. They reuse a lot of areas, which is fine. But also, I don't know. It'd be cool to fight in some new places instead. Or just walk around places that don't look like this exact area. <laughs> like, three quarters of the game is walking around essentially this one place. The boss relief depicts a proud warrior. The image is very strong, dominating this part of the room. So strong. <laughs> Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall as if awaiting something. Uh, this? Oh, no. I don't know if that was it. <laughs> I can't tell if that was right or wrong. Usually when you do something and a huge demon shows up to kill you, that means you did something wrong. But in this game, maybe it's right. It's possible it's right here. I only have two things. 
use the blue enchantment. Yeah, I mean, I can't really enchant right now on account of all the demons around. I kind of got to wait until the demons are gone to enchant. I guess I can leave the room, maybe. Can I leave? No. Like, I understand the color encoding. It's just to do magic, you got to stand still and not get hit by stuff. Luckily, I'm invincible, though, so it's not a huge hassle. Uh, it just takes a lot of wax. <laughs> okay, so was that... Is that wrong? <laughs> is that wrong or is that right? What was that? I only got two effigies anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. It was probably wrong. I probably needed to put the red one on the green. I don't know. I don't have the third effigy yet, so I guess I'll keep fighting people. Keep going around fighting until something makes sense. Oh, hey, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, I, did, I thought this room was something else. a strange obelisk made from a dark granite-like material. It appears to be blocking the way forward, but the obelisk appears to be impervious to all damage. Ah, uh, no. Impervious to all damage. <laughs> Maybe I have to defeat all the dang skeletons. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, you got me. Get off me. Don't hit me before the spell's done. Ah, you son of a gun. <laughs> you got you got me right before the spell was done, dang. You a tricky, tricky jerk. Okay, well, killing everything didn't do anything, so that's good. What am I gonna do for this dang obelisk? <laughs> How do you move an obelisk? Uh, reveal invisible. No, let me stop that. It's just gonna make the screen all red for a while. I got two things. Maybe that's enough. <laughs> I know there's three paintings or past reliefs. I know there's three. Probably need three. on the green one. Is that also wrong? Somehow? <laughs> is, that, is that still wrong? Use the M 
emerald effigy. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll use the emerald effigy. I don't understand why one effigy would be good and one effigy would be bad, though. Blue on green? Okay, sure. Let's try the blue one on the green. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it worked. Okay. Red on blue. You got it, buddy. Well, I don't got a third. <laughs> I don't got another one, so... No progress. Ah, uh, what is this? An innocuous paneled wall caps this end of the room. It is conspicuously empty by comparison to the other walls of the room. Yeah, what if I use reveal invisible here? Oh, oh my god, it worked. Something I did actually worked out. <laughs> oh, incredible. Amazing, I'm so pleased. Oh, it's the electric floor, cool. All right. Let me get myself some more, uh, more zip zaps. More little orbs. Well, those orbs made that a lot quicker. God, this place looks weird. <laughs> This place is so colorful and cool. Ah, oh, it's the big... The big this thing. The big worm. I guess I defeated the worm. I guess, it, I, guess I guess the worm's done. For centuries, evil has been channeled through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness. Someone must end this madness. A bomb placed here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Okay, I guess I gotta get a well-placed bomb. Nothing here. Why was that worm so easy to hit? I mean, I guess anything you hit with an axe is gonna be pretty upset by it, but I don't know. It just kind of seemed like that worm was gonna be harder, right? Didn't you get that impression? <laughs> this giant, this giant three-headed worm comes out of this big hole, and it's just like real quick wax, and they're gone. I just feel like it. It should. It should have been harder, right? <laughs> Well, nothing here. <laughs> nothing here except that worm. Gotta refresh my, uh, my orbs. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Does anyone know where this last thing is? I really don't want to. Oh, God. <sighs> We're just imagining all this. <laughs> Does anyone know where this thing is? It's gotta be somewhere, right? 
Does anyone have any ideas? I got one effigy left that I gotta find. Maybe the seahorse has it. Come on, open up, seahorse. <laughs> All right, what is this blue? For blue, I need to use green. Head back to the map room. It's in some tunnel. I don't understand what's happening. But I'll head back to the map room and go in some tunnel. Wait, this is a tunnel from the map room. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. We came from the map room and that was a tunnel. Maybe that's maybe we were where we're supposed to be. Uh, maybe this is the tunnel. It certainly seems like a tunnel. I bet it's in here. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you got me, game. Thanks for wasting my time. Oh, some spears. Cool. Let's go back to that tunnel. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's back. Hey, buddy. Get out of here. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think this is probably what we're looking for here. Dispel magics. It's green, so we need to use red. Aha! Uh -huh. I got the I got the effigy. We did it. The day is saved, everyone. Congratulations. <laughs> oh god, this room sucks. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going back to where we were. I'm also uh, recovering my sanity because. These sound effects are getting to be a little much. Don't pass the seahorse. Go past the skeleton. Gotta get to the effigy room. Cause we got the third one. Let's see, use. Yes. this? Where is this? This just opened. I know it just showed me, but I don't really understand what I was being, <laughs> I was being shown. Something's open now.
Where was it? Is it in here? I'm just gonna check everywhere. I'm gonna check literally everywhere. It's probably a waste of time. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We could enjoy the, uh, I don't know, the spooky scenery. So spooky. So scenic. Okay, yep. This was, in fact, a waste of time. Oh, well. Oh, no, my orbs. No. Oh, I lost so many orbs. <laughs> so many orbs. I oh, know. This is not where I want to go. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, here it is! <laughs> we found it! Hooray! Can I save here? Yes. Michael. What? Michael. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you want? I guess I'll take this cool sword. Yeah! Cradled on a stone display plinth. It's an enchanted gladius! Energy writhes around its surface, pulsing through the surrounding air. Oh, I got an enchanted gladius. Alright. <laughs> Thanks. What do I do with this gladius now? I guess I could use it. The Gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This unique weapon can only be welded by, uh, wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Light. Oh, I can't wield it. Dag. Use it on the impervious rock. But the impervious rock is impervious. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't. I can't even like begin to use it here. I can't use it in general. Yep. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know what to do at this point. I gotta. I can't even think of like what. What I've seen that I could use a Gladius on. <laughs> what did I see that I could use a Gladius on? There was that one place at the end of the electricity room where it looked like there was a lever there, but then it wasn't a lever. Maybe I could stick the Gladius in there. Summon a trapper and attack the rock? Okay. Okay, I'll summon a trapper and attack the rock. What is- is this the rock? What are you talking about? What are you talking about rock? What rock? Summon horror. Man, I haven't- I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I guess I'll summon a little tracker.
Well, that did nothing. That did literally no things. <laughs> cool. Do I need a, di a different one? Maybe a blue one? Haha! <laughs> Oh. Uh huh. I had to target it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Got it. Thank you for your help, Jeebus. I appreciate <laughs> appreciate your help, Jeebus. Oh no. I don't want to be Phantom Zoned. I'm really tired of getting Phantom Zoned. Into the hole we go. A shrine fashioned from disinterred human remains stands at the far end of the room, resting in the arms of the bone trestle. is <laughs> a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribbings. Michael's acquired the bind spell scroll. <laughs> Cool, I got bind now. I don't know. What... Oh my god, I can bind the Gladius to me, probably. Let's let's try that. Bind, cast. Oh, I have to, <laughs> I have to cast cast it on a creature. Dang. Well, I still don't really know what I'm supposed to do now. So. Whoa! Oh my god, it's demons. <laughs> Big old demons. Uh, bind red. Yeah. I don't think that worked. Uh. Right again. Oh, I probably have to. <laughs> They're just getting real angry. Let me let me try it again with green, maybe. Still getting really angry. Blue. Alright, well this sucks. <laughs> this sucks, I don't really get it. Make a stronger bind spell. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Okay, spell list. Bind, check. Bind needs... Band Karak and our attack. All right. New spell. We need Bantarak and our attack. And then power. Power, 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 power. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's try this one. 
Let's try the super bind spell. You sons of guns, you're not getting out of this one. Oh my god, it worked. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Meat monsters beating each other up. Meat monsters. Oh no, my meat monster lost. Oh, dang. <laughs> dang, my, my poor meat monster. Quickly. 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 Oh my god, just in time. <laughs> Bye, Jason. Have a great night. Bye, Deborah. I hope you have a good, a good time at the hospital. I'm glad you're going home soon. Have a great night, Deborah. Whoa! A block of explosives, possibly a leftover from the war. Michael's acquired plastic explosives. All right. Well, I know what to do with that, so that's good. You got it, buddy. If there's one thing firefighters do, it's follow demonic voices and blowing up bridges. <laughs> Man, how the heck do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. It's a letter. Recover. Sanity. So the screams will stop. Please. <laughs> Please. Frozen, thank you. Oh my god. This can't be happening. What? What is What's going on? Wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? Frozen, thank you for the two Canadian. Too spooky f for me. I know, it's 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 pretty spooky, but don't worry. We'll get through it together. As a as a family. I thought I did a spell to recover my sanity. Man, I'm gonna lose all my orbs. <laughs> Oh, I only got one orb left. Save the game real quick. Formed lump of C4 plastic explosives. The detonator simply needs to be added. Oh, I, don't, I need a detonator. Dang. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even think about that. I don't even ha I don't have one. I don't have a detonator. <laughs> no. Oh, God. <sighs> well, back, back to the drawing board, I guess. Detonators at the entrance to the electric tunnel. Well, that's not too far. Just need some more orbs. Oh, 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Detonator caps for C4 plastic explosives. Handle with care. All right. Cool, I got some, some caps. <laughs> you got it. This with this, got a C4 bomb, just your t standard typical C4 bomb. Save the game. Use the explosives. Even with all the explosives, there's probably not enough to bring down the city. <laughs> Must be some way of making it more powerful and increasing its damage potential. I mean, I guess. I guess I'll enchant it. Let's see. Damage field. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know what that does, but let's try it. No, that, that does not help me. <laughs> I just want to enchant it. Enchant the item. Mike has activated the bomb's timer. The countdown has begun. Almost an answer, a deep, low rumbling begins to reverberate throughout the dungeon. Mike has three minutes to escape the forbidden city and get to safety. Three minutes to what voice was saying that? I put together a make <laughs> makeshift she four bomb. There's no, there's no reason why there should have been a, been a voice saying that. Ah man, I should have got given myself some more orbs. Get out of my way! There's a bomb. Out of, out of the way, you sons of guns. Don't you understand, skeletons? <laughs> There's a bomb about to go off. Skeletons, get out of here. Oh god, oh god. It's so dark. <laughs> it's so incredibly dark. Very scary. Who's saying that? <laughs> what? What is this? What is this weird place? I know how I got here. Oh, I did it. Oh my god, perfect. A few years later. Well, that's pretty abrupt. <laughs> pretty abrupt transition here. Uh, hey, old man. Thanks for coming. Here's your artifact. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you. I think you do. <laughs> Just as much as I know, you know. I and know that you know. The guardian. That I know. And I won't last the night. About the ancients. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. It's the essence of Azagavasa. Sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck. <laughs> Hooray. Oh my god, well we did we did this chapter, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's next stream. We just got one chapter left. So we should be able to beat this next stream. Next stream, this should finally be over. <laughs> this nightmare should finally be over. Oh, 
All right, I guess the sun blew up. Is that what? <laughs> Is that what happened there? What happened? Whoa! Cool. All right, let me recover my sanity real quick. But the darkness is eternal. It is eternal. I'm not gonna play this for eternity, though. <laughs> this is this is my limit here. I think. All right. All right. So I'm gonna write down in my notes. For next time. Crossing out my old notes. <laughs> my old, my old gross notes. Eternal darkness. What is that thing called? What is that thing that looks at this, the telescope? Yeah. Go to telescope. Love, Jason. Perfect. That's all. That's all I need to know next week. Thank you for tuning in. Tomorrow I'll be back playing Croc Legend of the Gobos. Eternal Darkness will hopefully be finished next, next, next Friday. Oh, Iris, Iris, I saw, I saw you in chat. I think, I think that's the right Iris. I think, <laughs> I think you're. I think you're the Iris who sent me the package. Although, I imagine there might be more than one Iris who watches this stream. But if that's you, Iris, I got I got your package. <laughs> I got your your lovely package in the mail. Uh Iris sent me uh two two games. Two games. I'm very excited about them. I got a Sega Saturn game, Princess Crown, and then Odin Sphere on the PS2. So we will play those at some point. Iris also sent me two lovely scented candles <laughs> and the lavender. I gotta say, Iris, it's such a good lavender. It's such a good, <laughs> it's such, it's such a perfect lavender smell. Uh, lavender's my favorite scent and it's, it's very good. Uh, I was also sent a, uh, um, a money candle, which is, is very good as well the money candle. Scuffy's more excited about the money candle. And I'm more excited about the lavender, so two great choices. <laughs> two great perfect choices. Also, yes, the stationery, very good. Uh, Iris wrote some lovely notes here uh, on two different types of unicorn stationery, and they're both <laughs> they're both very good. I also got some little little printouts of some characters from the the games that were sent. So thank you so much, Iris. I uh, I really appreciate it, and I will I will play those games at some point. I'm I'm very much looking forward to them. It's <laughs> you are the first person to send me a Sega Saturn game, so you get you get an extra thousand points for that. That's. <laughs> I'm I'm extremely excited. As you know, Sega Saturn, my very favorite system of all time. So to have a new one, to have a new game to play on that system. Also, I I I can't overstate how good that lavender candle smells. It's like a a really nice lavender. Lavender can go wrong pretty easily. It can sa it can smell pretty artificial, but that's a good one. It's a good lavender. So thank you, thank you, Iris, and I will I will thank you again when I play those games on on stream, of course. Oh yeah, and also, hold on one moment. <laughs> I think I think in the note, I'm supposed to mention someone else too. Oh my god, <laughs> hold on, let me let me check. Oh yes. Oh yeah, shout out to Matt as well. Hello Matt. Matt. <laughs> Matt, shout out. Shout out to Matt. 
I will shout out Matt again as well when I play when I play them. I bought them from a store called Earth House in Cape Cod. Neat. Well, he's asleep. All right. Well, let, let Matt know that I say hello. Hi, Matt. <laughs> I'll have to go to Earth House if I'm ever in Cape Cod. Ben! Ben, thank you for the two British pounds. Sorry for being a gross butt. Buy a Snickers on me. A gross... Wait, what? <laughs> what? You were a gross butt? What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you do something? I don't know. Well, if you were a gross butt, I, di I either didn't notice or have forgotten already. So... Oh, were you... I, I banned someone. And then unban them. Was that you? Was that was that, was that Ben? All right. Well, I, it's it's okay. Thank you. Thank you for the the Snickers. If anyone has any questions, I'll answer a couple a couple questions before I go. The stream went a little over time, so not too many tonight. How can we send you games? Will you play them on stream? Uh, yeah. There's a, a PO box. If you check in the description of. Uh, of this stream, there's a, a a P.O. box address that you can send stuff to, and there's also a list a link to a list of games that I do have, um, just so you can make sure you're not sending me something that I've already got. I will play nearly everything that someone sends me. Um, I think the only game that I haven't played yet that someone sent me, okay, there's two games. Yes, I haven't played the Waldo game yet on NES, which uh, uh, Dwarf Hoot sent. I plan on playing that soon. And then someone, <laughs> someone, sent, someone sent me the PC version of one of the Harry Potter games, which, <laughs> which uh, at some point I'm sure I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play after I'm I'm done with the, uh, the the current set of them. And then there's the two more that Iris just sent. But yeah, I'll, I'll play pretty much anything that uh, is Valley appropriate. I forget who sent the PC Harry Potter game. I, I uh, thank you, thank you for sending it. <laughs> I, uh, I have, I have the game as well as your note, so I will remember your name as soon as, as soon as I'm actually playing it. I apologize. <laughs> What games do you like to stream? Uh, I mean, I guess just the games I have streamed, you know. Just these these cool games that I've <laughs> that I've streamed so far. My favorite kinds of games to stream are uh, are the the goofy ones. Pretty much like. Eternal Darkness is a good game to stream. It's just lasted too long. Like this, this game is the right kind of goofy. It's just too much. There's just too much of it. That's that's the only real problem here. It's just too much. Virtual Boy on stream win. If I could actually, I don't know. Even if I could get that set up, most Virtual Boy games probably wouldn't stream well. I'm sure I could emulate them. I don't. That also wouldn't be great. I don't know. I don't. Even, <laughs> I don't even know how I would represent that visually to make it uh, interesting. And there's only like one or two games, like the Wario game, that would be, or Jack Brothers, that would be particularly interesting to watch. Jason, after Mario Galaxy, do you think we're going to do a 2D Mario again, or do we finally get to have the warmth of sunshine? I'm not sure. I might go to Sunshine next. I think I, I think I might do Sunshine next. Because I still haven't uh, replaced the batteries in the Super Nintendo ones. And I think that's... Yeah, I think that's... That's it. Oh, yeah, no, I have all this... I have all those new Super Mario Brothers tiers as well, so I could... <laughs> I guess I could do the new Super Mario Brothers games. Kind of not a fan of those, though. 
crack a Virtual Boy open and solder an HDMI output to it. <laughs> I just gotta take an HDMI cable and just melt it onto the with the Virtual Boy board. Have you played Pikmin? Uh, yeah, I played I played Pikmin three. I have Pikmin two and three. I think. I don't think I have the original Pikmin. I don't even know what system it's for. I just assume there's a, a one, because I have two and three, so I assume there's a one. The walkthrough for the last chapter is 40 minutes, 45 minutes long. We can do it, Jason. Cool. We'll do it. Have you played Sonic 06? No, not yet. I have it. I want to set up a day for Sonic games at some point. I don't know how long that'll last. I don't. <laughs> I have so many. I have so many Sonic games. Jason, are you gonna find all the Gobas? No, we're we're definitely not gonna 100% that game because it's just it's kind of too hard, but. This will forever be a retro gaming channel. I mean, pretty much. Like, this is... that That's the primary focus of this. Like, there's a couple of more modern stuff that I'm going to play, but for the most part, it's going to be older games. I feel like there's enough people streaming new stuff who are better at it than I would be. I really want to meet you in person, Jason. Is that weird? It's not. It's not like super weird. I mean, there's there's a, a number of people that I I'd like to meet in person, but in a specific context, because <laughs> most of my interactions with people are pretty awkward. So, like, I, uh, we did hold a meet up. It was Chris's idea, I think. Chris's or Scuffy's? I don't know. We ended up at an Earl of Sandwich, so it, it had to have been Chris. <laughs> that, that choice had to have been Chris. But we met up with a couple of people, um, and it was extremely awkward. <laughs> I was <laughs> just the whole time inside my head, I was just screaming to myself. <laughs> and it was, it was a pretty low key thing. It just felt weird. It felt so weird. That people would just showed up just to hang out at Earl of Sandwich with us. <laughs> In my banana costume, that's awkward. Yeah, the banana—I mean, the banana costume. I don't know if that would make it more or less awkward. It certainly would give some things to talk about for a minute or so. Like, oh, oh, yes, it's you, it's Deborah. It must be because you're in a banana costume. <laughs> It's gotta be Deborah if you're in a banana costume. I've had some people meet me that were, uh, uh, like at conventions and stuff, who were very, very nervous. And I, I felt very bad about that. I was like, oh, I can't believe that someone's intimidated. <laughs> That someone's like intimidated meeting me because like inside my own head. I'm like, oh, no. Okay. Here's a person All right, look at the person. It's rude to not Make eye contact, but it's also rude to make too much eye contact. All right. All right. Don't move your arms Don't move your arms Your arms are at weird angles. Put your arms down <laughs> Okay, stand straight. All right. Are you standing too straight or not straight enough? I don't know Oh God! All right, are you are you breathing? I think I'm breathing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm not. Oh yes, I'm not breathing. Okay, breathe. All right, say something. Say something to them that shows that you care, but not care too much. Because if you care too much, it's weird. Because you don't know who this person is. <laughs> That's like every interaction I have with people I don't know. So. I also get, like, if you watch these streams, you probably assume that I can, I can talk, but, <laughs> but when I'm around actual people I don't know in, in real physical space, I don't talk pretty much at all, 
I just kind of stand there. Scuffy's very good at talking to people. And me, on the other hand, I just kind of stand there and I'm like, hello. And then that's about it. <laughs> so I'm like, I just kind of respond very quickly and short and concisely to any questions people have. And I feel like I'm being rude, but I don't know how else, how else to be. So if you meet me in real life, know that it's probably not going to be like this. It's probably mostly mostly going to be me standing there, <laughs> not knowing what to do, and just kind of flopping around, and then eventually eventually leaving, and uh, and freaking out and running back every moment in my head. As someone with weirdly bent arms. I'm constantly trying to actively think about how I'm holding myself when I meet people and such so I don't look bad. Yeah, I'm I'm constantly thinking about my face and my face muscles, you know. <laughs> my cool face muscles. Wondering just what my face is doing. I have, like... My face just moves in weird ways. Like I have a I have a normal looking face. Like if you look at just a picture of my face, it's pretty normal looking. But it takes a lot of effort to have my face not just move weird. <laughs> not just move weird. I don't know what it is, but something about the way my face muscles are set up. They just kind of move around a bit like I'm being puppeted. <laughs> a bit like I'm being puppeted by someone living inside my body. I would like to meet you, but it would be weird as I know a lot about you through this stream and I'm a stranger to you. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's, uh... Most of the time when I've met people at, like, conventions and stuff, that that's a primary source of the awkwardness and that people are usually... Like, there's a lot of... They have a lot of love to give in terms of, like, they say really nice things about my my work and what it means to them. And I don't really have that to respond to them. <laughs> I don't have that to respond back. So, just, like, think about if you interacted with someone, with someone that you know, and and you start talking about, like, what they mean to you, and they just don't reciprocate at all. And it's like, it's like, that would feel bad. And that's kind of the interactions that people have with me. And I try really hard to respond in a way that mitigates that. But I know that that's a thing that happens. <laughs> so. So that's, that's just another thing I feel awkward about. Jason, do you have your mouth open a lot? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I have my mouth open a lot. I mean, I don't like record my face, so <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I do, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Like a very one-sided friendship, yeah. And like, there's there's some people like there's some people who. uh who hang out and chat a lot, whose names I see a lot, and I, I, I get to know them a bit, and, like, it, it's, it, there would be less of that meeting them in, in, in real life, um, but there's, there still would be a lot of that, because there's only so much you can learn from live stream chats. Some of the people on stream might be able to tell you their YouTube usernames and you might half recognize them. Yeah. There's, there's like, there's like three categories of, of, uh, people who, who comment on videos or hang out in the Discord, um, that I see. There's like, there's like one level of, of people who I've, I've interacted with enough that I have a solid, like, I have a solid, like, mind picture, not of what they, like, look at, look like or whatever, but more, like, just their personality and stuff. 
and uh and then there's people who i just see a lot that i uh like have a a baseline understanding of their existence and then there's other people who i just kind of have a vague like i would remember their username but not remember anything about them You seem like you may be very a very extroverted introvert. I don't know. I'm pretty I mean, I'm I'm pretty much just an intro, introvert. But I don't know, maybe I am an extroverted introvert. Probably not though. <laughs> I'm probably just an introverted introvert. bunch of people asking uh what category they fall in now and i'm not going to answer any of those <laughs> you i'm not going to give you access to my my mind categories no <laughs> no because i don't want to like i don't want to insult anyone Anyway, that's that's about it for tonight. I hope you had a good time. We'll be back tomorrow, Croc Legend of the Gobos. I had I had a good time streaming today, regardless of how frustrating this game can be. I hope you have a great night. A great afternoon, a great evening, morning. Whatever it is, wherever you are, have a good one, everyone. Farewell. I love you all. <laughs>